what's up guys welcome to another video I know I haven't made a video in a while but today we're gonna go over my team bike or at least what my team bike has been for the second half of the season we actually haven't got many races left now mainly just probably gonna be the Caribbean Championships in October but uh, yeah this is what I've been using for the last couple months since the Commonwealth Games that's what it was for it's the Commonwealth Games bike so I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown on uh, the things that have changed compared to my other bike which is now my training bike so anyway let's, let's get right to it So as you can see, the bike is still largely the same, same size, size small, uh, Altegra DI2 groups it all around. We've got these beautiful bars still. This time I have got the track grips on there. Can't remember if I had them on before, but these are great. It's a much better grip. It's like much more ergonomic than a normal bar. So holding them, especially in a sprint, like you can really just, you feel much more, much more connected to the bike. And still 33 centimeters hood to hood. The drops are 37 apart, which is perfect for sprinting. So that's still great. Got the, uh, got the GRC mount there, orange. The orange doesn't quite match anymore. Um, should, should have got a silver one, but it's still pretty cool. I like orange, so I'm a fan. Got the Mavic SL 45 mil wheels, which are great. A um, little bit of tape around here. That's just for when we have transponders, so it doesn't scratch up the frame. Although, as you can see, there's a few scratches all over. That's mainly just from travel for Tour of Britain. Um, you know, they have to go in and out of the van pretty quickly and stuff like that. And also there was an incident at the Commonwealth Games where another team took my bike off the coach without without consulting me after I'd already got on the coach. So yeah, that was a bit annoying, got a bit scratched up, but it's all good, it's all good. We, we don't mind, we don't mind. So yeah, super shiny, beautiful, beautiful paint job. Got a couple of Grenada stickers, which as you can see, were not waterproof. So uh, yeah, probably need to replace those, but we've got the name sticker here, which is fine. We've got the ISM in white, slightly more matched than the black. ISM PN 3.0 for people ask what saddles I'm running. And uh, the cranks, this is just the training cranks because uh, I swapped them to the other bike for a power meter. So it's only got a 50, 34 at the moment, but normally I'm on a 53, 39. Sorry, that's a 50, that's a 52, 36. Never mind, that's not a 50. I don't know why I thought it was a 50. I've normally got a 53, 39. Back of the rear mech, standard Altega rear mech. We got the level, the uh, Ribble's own brand for the uh, jockey wheels and uh, I think that's a 28 tooth cassette on the Mavic rear wheel, which is the same as the front. The bottom bracket is threaded, which is very much appreciated, so obviously very easy to change. And I've got some ceramic ones in there at the moment, thanks to my mechanic. Um, if you need, if you're in my local area, you know, sort of Charlton Ford, Southampton, then hit my mechanic up. I'll put his link in the bio, Russ, because um, he's, he's amazing, he knows what he's doing, and uh, he sorted this bike filled out perfectly. Other little details, the disc rotors, front is 160, rear is 140, that's just the UCI standard, so it means if you do need spare wheels from a team that's not your own, you're still going to be covered as I was in the Tour of Britain last week, so yeah, nice to just fit everything, it's all compatible. Oh, and the tyres are the lovely Continental GP5000 TR tubeless ready, um, yeah, great tyres, roll fast and corner nicely, so yeah, I think that's about it. So yeah, I think that's about it for this video. Sorry it's a bit of a short one, but most of the stuff I've gone over in my previous one. So if you want to see the previous Ultra bike overview video, then I'll put the link in the description. That'll be a bit longer and a bit more in depth. This is more just an update because it is the same bike. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and uh, check out my other videos. And thanks for watching.